Well, the weather outside is not frightful. Looking out at the satellite and radar, we've seen that high pressure move in. It's relatively clear skies for much of the Lone Star State, but we have been watching some high clouds that have been moving in from the west. We could see some of those higher clouds move into the Concho Valley and bring us a little bit of cloud coverage, but for the most part, staying relatively clear skies and staying dry. If you're looking at the drought monitor, we've seen just how dry it's been over the past several months, so hopefully we can get a little bit of rain in the forecast. Something Santa could bring us would been extra nice. We could certainly use the rain, again, with these severe and even extreme drought conditions for much of the area. We'll get to that in a little bit later in the forecast. But real quick check of the temperatures right now, 51 degrees, so already cooling off pretty nicely as we look in downtown San Angelo. And those drier conditions, dew point only at 8 degrees and again with those westerly winds at eight miles per hour so starting to see those winds start to calm down we'll see them continue to calm down as we go through the rest of the evening as well temperatures again cooling off for much of the area some upper 40s even some mid to lower 40s off towards the southwestern parts but still hanging on to some 50s some some lower 50s and upper 40s so again we'll continue uh, cooling things off as we go through and looking at the winds they have now started to really die down just in the past hour we saw some double digits now getting into the single digits, so things will get relatively quiet wind-wise going into the overnight hours as well. Temperatures will be di dipping into the upper 20s. 27 are overnight low. Could see some getting uh, even into the lower 20s, so certainly a cold night in store. Expecting that Christmas feel for this Christmas Eve. Again, the winds already have decreased, so we'll continue to see those uh, decreasing, and then we'll hang on to the possible cloud coverage, mostly those high clouds as we go into tomorrow as well. A little bit warmer tomorrow. Temperatures getting into the mid 60s, 66 year high. Again, warming up with those light westerly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we kind of time out your Christmas forecast, kind of opening presents, things will still be probably relatively cool. Temperatures starting off into the upper 20s, but as we get into the afternoon and into the lunchtime hour, it's those temperatures getting into the lower 60s and then into the mid 60s by about 4 o'clock. So again, maybe want to wait a couple hours and let things warm up before you start taking any of those outdoor toys and presents outside. Here's that cold air that's been hanging on to much of the northeast and the eastern parts of the United States. That pushes off and that allows this ridge to build in and that's going to allow us some warmer temperatures as we go through the weekend and even into summer. Sunday. And as we start next week, we'll be watching for another push of cold air. This trough comes through. And this is going to be the one that brings us not only some cooler temperatures, but also some of those rain chances as we finish up the year going into Tuesday and even lingering into Wednesday as well. So we'll look at the timing for that cold front and those rain chances. We'll have cloud coverage for much of Monday going in overnight into Tuesday. That's when we'll really start to see that cloud coverage really thicken up. And then that'll be bringing us those rain chances as that front pushes essentially a line of showers through the area on Tuesday. And then things will start to clear out as we go later into Wednesday. So relatively fantastic weather for your Christmas. Things will be a bit breezy on Saturday, but again, warmer, so plenty of fantastic weather to try out any of those fantastic toys this weekend. And then we'll be watching for that cold front to bring us those rain chances on Tuesday. Certainly could use that rain. It'll be a little bit delayed, but I think we'll gladly accept it. So some finish, some fantastic rain to finish up the new year before we head into 2021.